looking at is a car is traveling west at 50 miles per hour. So again, the first thing, uh, Logan, that I would realize here is, oh, 50 miles per hour west. Cool. That tells me, is that a distance or is that going to be a rate? Logan, distance or a rate? A rate? That's a rate. So I know I need to take the derivative, right? Immediately, boom, found a rate. I need to take the derivative. So then the next thing Ethan's going to read is he says then that car B is traveling at, six, at north 60 miles per hour. Cool, now I have two rates, right? And what's even more important, what we also look at is they're even asking you at what rate are the, are the cars approaching each other. So therefore, I need to have some sort of relationship of these cars, right? So obviously, I think the best thing, guys, would just to start with you know, drawing a picture to see what's kind of going on. So if we have a car driving west now, again, driving west is we know that's going to the left, right? That is defined going to the left. So that's going to be important because when we're talking about our rate, we're going to be looking at negative values going west, right? So that is identified to us west is going negative. So anyway, let's just draw the vectors, though, for a second. Um, so that's going to be car A. And we know that car B is traveling north at 60 miles per hour. So here's car A starting. We're going to use like a, a vector to represent the car. At what rate are the cars approaching when each other when car A is? OK, uh, are both headed for the intersection of the two intersection of the two cars? Why did I write woods? So they're going to intersect. We know they're going to intersect, right? We know they're going to intersect. They're traveling right at each other. So now let's talk about some distances here that we have. Let's, call, let's just call this A, B. And the other important thing is, it says, how far are the cars approaching each other? Well, there's another relationship here, guys, right? Is like they're an exact distance away from each other, right? And we'll just call that C. Or you guys can call it whatever you want to. But again, if we're dealing with north and west, we know that we now created a right triangle. Awesome. Right triangle, because now I can create a relationship, right? All right, so we know that A, how far is he away? 0.3. And we know that uh, B is going to be 0.4. All right, so um, let's kind of look at our other rates. We know that dA dt, right, that's the rate of A is moving, is going to be 50 miles per hour, but that's going to be in the negative direction. We know dB dt, and that's going to be going north. So that's going to be a positive 60 miles per hour. And therefore, we're looking for dc dt, right? At, so we're looking at the rate of how fast are they approaching each other when you know, a is equal to 0.3 and b is equal to 0.4. Does everybody at least understand? I haven't even done any math yet. All I've done is taken the information and write it down. But does everybody, has everybody at least understood what I have done so far? I know I'm talking about rates. So I look at, I draw a picture. I, I write down all the possible rates that I could possibly have. DC, DT represents how the changes are different. We have our DA, DT, our, DD, our DB, DT, and we have our distances. Now, we don't know how far they are apart from each other, do we? We don't know what C is, do we? Could we find C, though? Right? Could we find C? <coughs> yeah, of course we could, guys. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. C squared equals 0.3 squared plus 0.4 squared. C squared equals 3 squared plus 4 squared equals Well, either way, it's going to be point. Out. If you guys think of like the three, four, five triangle, right? Three squared plus four squared equals five squared. So point three, um, point, point three squared plus point four squared is going to equal point five squared. So C is going to equal the point five. Again, you guys could just plug in your calculator and take the square root. And again, though, we do have a plus or minus, right? But does it make sense for their relationships to be a negative value in this case? Does it make sense for their relationships to be a negative value? No. Okay. 
Um, again, guys, you could just use a calculator and get that value. But for time purposes, I'm going to move on. All right. So this is what we're looking for. DC, DT, when B equals 0.4, A equals 0.3. And then now we can effectively also say when C equals 0.5, right? I mean, it's kind of like the same, same thing. We're going to need to evaluate for C. Um, so because C is changing, right? All of these actually, these cars, now it's not like a ladder problem where this is like falling and these two are changing. Now they're approaching each other. All three values are changing. So let's go ahead and write a relationship then. So we know C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Right? Everybody would agree that's the relationship of all three values of the, all, of the two cars. So if we go ahead and take respect, uh, now we just go ahead and differentiate with respect to time because we have rates. We're going to have 2C dc dt equals 2A dA dt plus 2B dB dt. Uh, we could obviously divide out a 2 in all of these. And again, we are looking for dc dt. So everything else, I'm just going to not worry about the 2s. You guys agree if I divide by 2 on both sides, it's just going to go away. So c is 0.5 dc dt. We have a, which is 0.3. dA dt, remember, is going west, so that's a negative 50. plus b, which is 0.4, times 60 miles per hour, because that's going north. So that's good. And then, well, I already worked this out with the calculator, but obviously you guys could go ahead and type in with your calculator. Um, so we have 0.5 dc dt equals negative 15 plus 24. Dividing by 0.5 is the same thing as multiplying by 2. Would you guys agree? Dividing by 1 half is the same thing as multiplying by 2. So I'll just multiply everything by 2. And I could say dc dt is equal to negative 15 plus 24 is going to be a positive 9 times 2 is 18. And then again, guys, are we looking, is this a distance that we're finding? Is this a distance that we found? Do we, what did we find again? What, what, what were we doing? We were, oh, at what rate, rate, <coughs> at what rate are the cars approaching each other when, when car A, blah, blah, blah. So we're looking for the rate of this. So is 18 a sufficient answer? Is 18 a rate? No. OK, so what should we do then? How should, what rates are we talking about in this problem? Miles per hour. Miles per hour. And it makes sense that it's positive, right? I mean, it's, it's not quantified like as left, right, up, or down, or anything like that. So if you want to divide by 0.5, that's fine. Divide by 0.5 on both sides, that's fine, too. Divided by 1 half, same thing as multiplied by 2. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. OK. And obviously, you guys could have simplified.